Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrew Toh and in this channel, we'll talk about ways to make work more fun and productive. So if you've been watching my videos a couple of times, that is the standard line and intro I usually start my video with. In this video, I would just go a little differently because I want to talk about why I'm starting YouTube in 2020 or 2021. Here are three reasons. The first reason is that I think YouTube gives me a space to create and to experiment. I realized that creation is probably the most powerful gift that anyone has, right? Can you imagine that you can actually take many different moving parts and then create something out of, out of many, many different things. And actually what we do every day is really creating things. When we go to work or when we work at, on, on a project, we are actually creating stuff. We are creating emails, we're creating project files, we're creating stuff, right? And, and we, when we look at everything around us, things are actually also created by the sheer effort by others, like this video right? Or like uh, the YouTube platform has been created by many, many people uh, uh, over many, many years. And if we think about the world, the world has also been created by a supreme being, which I believe in God. So I think that creation is really just one of the most powerful things that we have as a human being. So I really just, just like to create things that I can just put out there on, on, on the internet. And thanks to YouTube, actually uploading in videos is completely free. So it, it really gives me the space to just talk and experiment like what I'm doing right now. It's also just understanding a little bit about myself, right? How I behave in front of a camera, how am I trying to bring myself out there to help someone. So the second reason why I'm starting YouTube in 2021 is I believe if there is just one person who can benefit from watching this video, then that video is entirely worth creating. I've been a volunteer in uh, several organizations. I volunteer at a junior achievement, JA Singapore, where we actually take causes that has been designed already and we just need to run those causes in primary schools. I've been a big advocate for it because you don't have to be a teacher and yet you can still go into real primary schools with real students. You're not teaching them English, math or science. You're actually playing games with them and it's, and it's really, really fun. So I really enjoy the idea of and, and the activity of volunteering because it helps me it, to give back what I'm good at, right? To the community, to people out there who, who would benefit from it. Now, um, by doing it online, I actually do it in a spirit of volunteerism as well. I'm trying to help somebody out there. But the difference is that in volunteering, you have the full experience of being there in person. You're able to see the person that you're helping and you're able to see the transformation as a result of all your efforts. But uh, on YouTube, you don't have that full experience. Rather, I don't know who you are, whether you're watching this video right now, but I know that if I can help you in one or two ways, if you can take away one or two ideas that can help you in your life, I think that I would feel contented by that. Kind of partially feel that void of uh, not being able to volunteer now, nowadays, with creating videos like this, and I find that actually it's kind of convenient to do so as well. And the last reason, the third reason, is that I really just want to practice the principle of done is better than perfect. Now, this principle is really the complete opposite of what schools teach and what work is like in businesses. Because, you know, in, in, in a school, in an exam, you are given a question, right? And you need to complete the question and your goal is to score 100%. But uh, I realized that when it comes to the artistic side of things, such as creating videos or creating a website or, you know, doing podcasts, whatever, right? It's more important to just get started right from the start. And that was the lesson that I learned when I spent two weeks creating uh, the, the, the most perfect website that I've ever seen, only to realize that, man, I wish that I had, you know, just gotten some website going already and then just go on and do other things like creating content and filling in with content. And the content actually gets better over time. The content gets better from attempt one to attempt two to attempt three and four and five. It doesn't get better just by sitting down and thinking, innovating to the nth degree for the first attempt. I think it's more efficient in the long run to come up with multiple attempts and then reflect on Hmm, that's what I did for, the, for, my, for my first attempt. That's what I did for the second. And that's what I learned from my third. And in this fourth attempt, I'm going to do this and this and this. So if you manage to watch all the way to the end of this video, 
I want you to know that I have been scripting some of my videos and this video that I'm doing right now, which is why I'm starting YouTube in 2020 slash 2021 is kind of semi scripted only scripted in the sense that I just write down bullet points of what I want to talk about. And then I just turn on the camera and just start rattling off, rattling off like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. It just helps me to get better. I really value the art of being able to speak confidently in front of a camera. I think it's a skill. I think that in this digital world in 2021, we need to be ever more so comfortable with doing that so that we can work more effectively, efficiently, remotely with people around the world. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.